From the moment my mother called me dyslexic, I knew I was born to love comic books. And with that goes superheroes. Now, movies can get it right, but superhero games aren't always that successful. Unless, of course, you are one little electric gem. And that little gem I like to call... Infamous 2. From Soccer Punch and Sony comes the sequel to the 2009 hit Infamous. And with it brings a bigger city, bigger enemies and more power. This open world title has been on my radar for some time as I was eager to get back into controlling Cole McGrath and hovering my way through the city again. But did its plush new looks and inviting gameplay lead me down an empty alley? Of course not! But I'm not human, am I? Not anymore. Starting right after the events of the first game, Cole McGrath soon discovers there's a new threat in town. The Beast! After having his slacks handed to him and watching just how strong the Beast is, Cole decides that he needs to power up. So off he goes to New Marais to learn new abilities with his new friend Quo and Zeke. One thing that you'll notice right from the beginning, other than the more vibrant and colourful city, is the writing. It's excellent from start to finish, and with the continuing theme of good and evil, there's basically two stories here for you to play through. The comic book style of cutscene is back again, as well as some in-game ones. Level design is much more improved, and you'll have different difficulties for those wanting a challenge. The option of being a hero or villain is still at the core of Infamous 2, but I think a little flawed, because you basically just have to choose one side and stick with it for the entirety of your playthrough. But besides that, all the fun of the original is here, with many much-needed improvements. New Marais is a delight to explore. It's beautiful but savage in nature. Modelled on New Orleans, you'll come across a varying range of climates, which range from the asphalt jungle to lush green marshes to an abandoned flooded city. The graphics themselves are a huge improvement over the first. Animations and character models are realistic and the lighting with Cole's electric abilities looks a real treat. Cole's appearance changes just like in the first, the more good or evil he becomes, and so does the surroundings, which adds to that feeling that you are in fact helping or damaging the city. There's destructible environments here too, some shabby looking fire, but when you're running through the shooting enemies, calling in electrical storms, it's definite eye candy. Voice acting is solid, and the barrage of electrical sounds and explosions do a great job. All of this makes Infamous 2 easily one of the best looking and sounding open world games out there. Now before I go on to say how great this game is, I will say that I was a little disappointed that you can't make Cole walk. He's always in a hurry. Slow down. With that said, get ready for the most power you've ever had in a video game. Shoot electricity, lift cars in the air, jump from the highest building and hover your way down, or simply crush whatever's below you. There are so many things Cole can do, and as you progress you'll have access to ice and fire elements as well. The best thing is that they're all easy to swap, upgrade and access with a simple click of the left and right directional buttons. In addition, the melee combat has been given a much needed improvement with Cole's new amp. This little gadget is a joy to swing and it feels great when you want to get up close and personal with the enemy. With a huge range of fighting options, the battles hardly get boring. Now besides the storyline, you'll have a load of side missions to complete which include opening up territories, preventing crimes or saving innocents. Infamous 2's karma system gives you the choices how the story plays out and consequences for your actions, and I found it particularly more fun being the bad guy this time around. Climbing is still a bit cumbersome as you kind of stick to surfaces at times, but it's no deal breaker and there's an absolute ton of blast shards and dead drops to collect. The online play is a new feature where people design their own missions and post them online, which is cool and it keeps you coming back for more. No. <laughs> no, I actually think I might have a new power. Really? Come on, let's see what you got. Now, unlike some games which give you a whole lot at the start and not much more later, Infamous 2 is much different and it's awesome because of it. The game just keeps on offering, keeps on giving you more abilities, more things to do, more collectibles. It's amazing. This is how you do a sequel. You keep the original formula and you just add improvements. You basically give it steroids. I love this game. I'm giving it a 9.75! And a 10.01.
They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices. No matter what the cost.